Hello everybody, Caden here today with the first episode of the new and improved Minecraft Dinosaurs. We're back, the break is done, we're here and on the brand new world, our new pretty much permanent world, the world we will be working on for the next couple of years, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I have big plans for this world. I have big plans for this world. Also, unlike last time, I actually uh, made an attempt to pick really, really good geography. So, you know what? Let's get into this. If I hit Z real quick. I mean, you can't see a ton. But this is probably one of the coolest uh, seeds I've ever gotten. Um, you can see there's a stuff over there, stuff over here. This is a really cool area. It's Got, it's super flat with a couple of large rivers running through over there somewhere. There's a huge island, and we've got mountains in the backdrop and stuff. Oh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful map, and I'm very, very much looking forward to building the park of new, brand new, and improved dinosaur park here, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know what? Let's just get started, and oh gosh, Let's see if we can get everything rolling out nice and smooth so yeah so for this first week of episodes my current plan is that there should be an episode up every day basically you know just kind of get help you guys i don't know get used to the brand new world um something very important i should probably mention is so you guys all remember in the pr um last time we did a park i'm gonna mention the previous parks less and less because as I'll get to in a minute, something is going to happen with dinosaurs. But uh, the one of the other reasons, aside from you now, just getting people to be brand new people onto the channel, hopefully with the brand new park, is uh, well, I'm probably going to change the recording schedule. I've mentioned this before, but I'm thinking dinosaurs has always been the you know we are we put up tons of these videos and that kind of stuff. So it's previously had been the only video I would post. And then it went to being three videos a week, then down to two videos a week. And now I'm considering, even now, just pushing it down to one episode a week. Now, some people might be like, what? That's crazy talk. But I honestly think it would be better. Because one, it allows me to do way more stuff and just kind of prepare. Adds longevity to the series. Allows me to do much larger projects without, you know taking up a billion episodes doing one build because honestly I I never found that as entertaining uh, for my own videos at least if I spent like six episodes building one thing I was always like uh, like uh, if I spent six episodes building a museum that actually probably should take six episodes but like small buildings or one exhibit should not take me that many episodes to build so taking a bit more of a break in between episodes allow me just to kind of work some more and then obviously coming back and doing those episodes, I think is going to be possibly a better system. Also, it does allow me to do uh, more different types of videos. Of course, I don't know if I'm just gonna stick to the one episode a day thing. Uh, we'll, we'll see, it just depends how things go. Um, the other thing I was gonna mention, which, oh wait, are we on? No, we are on normal, good. I, was, I wasn't sure if it was still on Peaceful from uh, the last world, but uh, the other thing, like I said, uh, Mentioning something about the old world. I am technically going to I guess I guess you could call it retcon the other dinosaurs parks um, As in basically I'm just going to go through with the series not as a season It's not gonna count as a season and I'm just gonna kind of I guess ignore the fact that there are other parks I mean we might go look at them at some point in the future, but uh we're Kind of just gonna run this as a solo series that hasn't been part of a anything else just because I think that's a better way to do it just kind of you know smooth sailing from here on out but anyway uh how much we got 43 logs we got 43 logs I'm gonna get rid of any eye because for the first couple of episodes we shouldn't need any eye um actually you know what I want to show you guys some one of the mods it's uh what is it yeah we got uh the drawer mod this is really really cool I like this mod I've never actually uh used it before but i really like it i've seen it before and i've always thought it was a cool one so yeah i added that in now um actually that's another thing i should talk about the mod pack 
So the mod pack has been changed up between then and now, and our mod pack is actually quite a bit smaller and fitted for one specific thing, and that would be the 1.10 update of the mod, because, as we all know, the mod is now going up to 1.10 and beyond, so we have to be a bit more careful with which mods we choose to use. Therefore, we probably aren't going to be using a lot of the mods we had last time just because, well, one, I never ended up using them, or two, no 1.10 port, which is one of the reasons, unfortunately, we do not have Carpenter's Blocks because, as far as I can tell, there was definitely progress to be um, there was progress being made to port Carpenter's Blocks to 1.10, but I have not seen any further progress made on that. So as far as I'm concerned, Carpenter's Blocks isn't going to be for 1.10. Now, if it does update to 1.10, I will gladly add it into the series because, heck, I love that mod. It's one of my favorite building mods of all time. However, we do still have Chisel, so at least we'll have the other cool blocks to use. Um, we got Revival, obviously. Um, I have consciously decided not to use Jurassic Craft this time around. One, like, 100% decided not to use it. My reason being, I mean, one, we didn't even really use anything from Jurassic Craft aside from the Hypsilophodon and Herrerasaurus last time. And, uh, to be honest, I just really don't like Jurassic Craft 1.10. It's not a mod I enjoy playing, and it's complicated. <laughs> Well, it being complicated isn't the reason I don't like it. It's what I would call overcomplicated. It <laughs> takes you like 40 minutes to an hour to get your first egg, and that's that's not something I want to spend my time doing. I want to just, you know, get going and see what we can do. But anyway, um, we should probably figure out a place to start off. I'm not sure where we're going to build the entrance to the park here. Um... There's a lot of there's a lot of places we honestly can. This time I'm thinking we're gonna do, um, what was it? What was I thinking of doing? Well, I liked the coast because I was like, oh, this means we could do something like, a, I guess, Jurassic World, where we use an, the ocean to be the entrance to the park. So yeah, I think we might do that. Could probably use, um, heck yeah, we could just use that island over here for our starter house and just get things rolling out and go in and yeah, head out from there and see what we can do. But yeah, so <laughs> brand new world. It's pretty crazy. I'm very much looking forward to getting stuff done, doing things here. So I think it's gonna be good. I hope you guys are um, looking, have been looking forward to this. Actually, I'm pretty sure you guys have because well, this is the most popular series on the channel, at least, uh, it has been for several years now, so I always expect these videos to at least do moderately well. And now that we're starting anew, we should probably... I wouldn't be surprised if we get a sudden influx of views, because in uh, with previous things we have uh, done that has happened. I can't English very well today. I'm very sorry about that. Very, very sorry about that. I wish I could English. I truly do. We've got caves beneath us. That's that's very good. That's That's very good. I don't know why I'm repeating everything. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like Ian Malcolm. <laughs> Life um, um, uh, f finds a way. I know he doesn't say it that many times, but you, you get my, you get what I'm going for. You get what I'm going for. You catch my drift. Um, anyway, let's just build a quick little house here. You know, the typical little fort people build by episode one. You know what's something I'm looking forward to uh, with when we can finally update to uh, 1.10. I'm very, very much looking forward to having the brand new like doors and fences because, um, although I don't like a lot of new features that happened in the 1.9 up, uh, 1.9 and up stuff, such as like, well, I don't mind the combat, just the game got a lot more buggy and there were a lot of features that got added that I just really don't understand, like the, Skeleton horse every single time lightning strikes. I, I still don't understand that makes absolutely no sense, but uh Yeah, I am looking forward to uh, a lot of the blocks though that we can get because a lot of those are really really cool. Oh Yeah, also um, big a uh, slightly big uh, <laughs> Slightly big difference. I guess um, I don't know how to phrase that better right now, but slightly different 
thing for this season. We're not going to be using keep inventory or turning off mob griefing or everything we usually do because you know what? I've been playing without either. And you know what it's done? It's promoted me to play harder and not die as often. Ooh, we got cows. That will be really good because you know what? We always need cows for milk. So that way we can uh, hatch ourselves some dinosaurs very easily and also a good supply of meat. Ooh, okay, I haven't actually gone through to edit this, but you know what? We might turn dino hunger on. There's a chance. The reason, I was gonna have it on actually uh, last time in the in previous uh, parks. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna turn the map off. We may actually just remove the map that, for the park. I think I might actually do that. Now, some people like it, but I don't for this one reason and caves. It's way too easy to find, figure out where you're going. So you know what, we're gonna remove cave sense because I want to do this as legitly as possible. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna turn dino block breaking back on just because for one simple reason and that is I like having the dinosaurs in pretty looking exhibits. Typically I can't make a very pretty exhibit out of uh, iron blocks and obsidian. I don't know about you guys, but typically those are pretty hard blocks to make look really good because uh, well, they're just not pretty. They're, they're not pretty blocks. <laughs> but yeah, um, I might turn Dino Hunger on. Like I was going to say, the only reason we had it off last in uh, previous seasons was, well, multiplayer stuff. So having a server constantly on with Dinosaur Hunger on is never typically a good thing, especially when feeders don't work very well and dinosaurs can starve to death with ease. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, typically that has not been a good thing to mess with in the past, so I'm not going to try and tempt fate this time around but with multiplayer, but <laughs> man, multiplayer. I don't know. I both love it and hate it. I like, be I like being able to hang out with people, but in the same respect, I also really just don't enjoy multiplayer because of other people. And yeah, it's weird. I have a weird relationship with multiplayer stuff. But anyway, um... You know what, we're gonna start a farm up because it's probably a very smart idea to do that because I don't know. It, it, it sounds smart and I want to sound smart because sounding smart makes me cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Yeah, well, at least we got ourselves a full set of tools and we'll make ourselves a double chest. Double chest. And throw that down here um and you know what if we can't get any uh what do you want what you call it uh sheep what do you call it sheep um if we can't find any sheep we can at least uh kill some spiders to get some string so we can get wolf one two three four one two three four one two three four oops that was one too far one two three four and there we go, just a quick little farm to, you know, make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit nicer. There we go. We can get some iron, we can get a good old pickaxe rolling around. I saw iron somewhere. I think I remember seeing iron. Where would I have seen iron? I don't know. You know what, let's just head out and see. Uh, actually, let's chop down some more trees. Cause, yeah. Yeah, I think we need to cut down some more trees here because, I don't know, it just seems like a good idea. Seems like a good idea. Get the resource uh, farm going up. Man, I'm already thinking about some of the projects that I'm going to have to do. What was that? I just, I don't know if you guys, if my microphone picked that up, but it, it was like, oh, like a bunch of small things falling over. Did someone like spill a bucket of Legos? Is that an Enderman? Oh gosh. I'm now very scared that I triggered the Enderman and now he's trying to kill me. Oh gosh. <laughs> Spooky Enderman. Spooky man. Why are you chasing me? I don't want to die. I want to live. Please don't kill me. <coughs> And there's the signature, Caden Cough. Oh, sheep, sheps, sheps, 
Sheps, <gasps> mutton. That'll be a thing once again when we can finally get to 1.10. And wh there was one more. Yep. Thank you. You have done a great service to your country. <laughs> you have given me wool and allow me to sleep. You are a great sheep and you will go down in history. Great sheep will go down in history of the park as great heroes of the Great Sheep War. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, oh, mine. This is my mine. I dig things here. <laughs> oh yeah, my texture pack. Uh, I don't. Oh yeah, some people were asking, have asked me before, what texture pack it is that uh, gives me the beautiful sky. And in all honesty, I have no idea. It's not actually part of a faithful texture pack, I think, because it wasn't in the one that I have it in. Any, I don't think. I think I had to add it in. So yeah, I have no idea what it is or where you get it. So if you want it, you'll have to do your own research because I have no stinking idea when, how, or why I have it. Actually, I know when I got I Do I know when I got it? I have no idea. I think it was... I, I don't know, it must have been like a year or so ago, because it's an old texture pack. It's an old texture pack! Oh boy. <laughs> I've got to stop doing these voices. I don't know. Maybe I should keep doing the voices. We'll see. We will share. Anyway. Come on. Come on, game! Give me some resources. Please. Please. Resources. 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 I'm going to be annoying to the game until the game gives me stuff. Resources, 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 right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confuzzled by what I'm doing here. We're gonna starve to death. <laughs> That's not good. We need food. We need food and we need it desperately. What level are we at? 32. We're going to be getting diamonds soon. Come on, game. Please. Please, 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 resources, 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 resources. Come on, you know you want to give me resources. Come on, come on, game. You can do it. Resources, resources, resources. Yeah. <laughs> I If I keep saying this to the game, the game will give me stuff. I think. I don't know. I'm scared now. <laughs> oh, gosh. What if I never get iron? What if we never get an analyzer? Better yet, what if we never find fossils? You know, that would actually be really funny. It's, I mean, I know I installed Revival. We even saw the Dryasaur stuff and I looked at the drawer, but that would be really, really funny and really depressing if uh, Revival didn't install and now there are no dinosaur bones for miles. That would probably make me cry. <laughs> I'm laughing while I'm saying I am bizarre. Oh, thank you very much. I'm very bizarre. And I hope you like that, because I'm going to keep being bizarre. I think I hear a skeleton. Can't tell, though. Do I hear a skeleton? Do I, doth I heareth skelebobs nearby? Yes, I do. I do indeed hear skelebobs nearby, and zombles, and other such nasty creatures that dwell in the dark parts of the night. And it's... Very close. It's very close. Come on. My accent keeps shifting. <gasps> Biofossil. Ah! Dinosaur bones! Oh, there's lava. Well, that's scary. Let's go upstairs now and uh, go back to our house. Probably sleep. May oh, yeah, that looks to be a really good idea because then we set our spawn because... What was it? I don't, I, when I was scoping out the world, I don't know how far this is from the spawn location. Oh gosh, we're starving to death. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, cow. I'm going to have to kill you. To satiate my hunger before I die. <gasps> Whew. Okay, we're not dead yet. Um, we're gonna sadly kill tree cow and tree cow too. Because I need to eat their flesh so I can live. Because I am going to die. The sun is rising. Is it not? 
Wait, what? <laughs> I'm very confused by this. It hasn't been nighttime yet. It really should have been nighttime already. Yeah, and it can't have been night while I was mining. I don't think. Um, is a command? No, I didn't do any commands on this world. I'm very confused by this. This is confusing me. I'm very confuzzled. Why has my game decided to break? We need nighttime. Nighttime is good because nighttime is spooky and nighttime will teach me to be afraid of the world. Which doesn't sound good, but you know what? It'll probably save my life later. Well, let's uh, get cooking up some raw beef. And let's... Because I could have sworn it was up there already. And that it was going down. Let me just do slash time set. No, we're not going to do any commands. Plus, I don't actually think I can do any commands. Yeah, I've got those turned off. Right, okay. Um, I mean, I could open a land world and do it, but nah. Nah, we don't need to. I will look into the bizarre not nighttime world thing, though, because that's weird. That's really weird. That shouldn't be happening. So, yeah, I will look into that after the episode, I guess. I heard a zombie. It'd be really spooky if it was, like, it's actually nighttime right now, and, like, my game has bugged out, and it's showing that it's day. I mean, what is it? The only thing I can think of. Let's see. Optifine. Uh, other. Daytime only. Wow. When when did I put that on? Would that have been wildlife? That would have been wildlife park, but not even the current one. That would have been like the first. I have no idea how that's working, but sure. I guess I must have commands enabled. Well, I feel really bad that I've done that now, because that... Wow. Huh. I, I completely forgot that's been on. Just because that hasn't affected anything for so long. Well, I am very sorry about that, guys. That was completely accidental. I had no idea that was on. I was like, did I put do daylight tick false? Which uh, is the game rule. Or it's like such game rule, dude. Permafrost. We're going to get some Ice Age creatures, which is pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Do you need an iron crud? We need to run back. Oh no. What was? I heard a noise. Wait. Oh, there's the entrance. I was like, wait a second. Where did my entrance go? That was weird. Um, but anyway, let's run back up here. What's my sounds at? Uh, music and sounds. 10%. Bump that up to 12. Just trying to remember what, like, I had it set for something, because I've been moving my mic around a lot lately, trying to figure out, you know, the optimal audio setting. So, yeah. Yeah, about that. What do you think about that? Hmm? 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 Cues. We got cues. Tons of them. I've got tons of cues. <laughs> Don't know why I'm saying it like that, but I am. So you know what? Yay. <laughs> I'm very confused. Um, I really want to get iron this episode, but I can't tell how long I've been recording and if I should end the episode here and start back up next episode. You know what? This first episode can be a long one because you know what? We're not going to get that much done anyway. I mean... Oh, that was something I meant to mention as well. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be, we're going to take it slow with this. We're not going to be doing what I've done previous times where we've gotten dinosaurs like uber fast. We're taking our time with this. So it will not be like a dinosaur every episode or even every other episode. Heck, it may not be every 10 episodes that we get a new dinosaur. It just depends. I don't know. We, maybe we'll do a couple where we get a lot of dinosaurs really quickly and then we have a big break where we just work on other parts of the park, making sure it's spruced up and everything. We'll see. We will see. We'll see when that time arrives. But as for now, it has not arrived yet. So 
we need not not worry about it. Oh, so there's one other thing I should probably mention because, I don't know, it seems mildly important to me that I should mention this, and it's something you guys will probably have at least a vague interest in, and that would be uh, the topic of world downloads. So in the past, I have always had it be like, oh, world downloads are a thing I reserve for seasons and end of season stuff. Well, that's a thing of the past. It's just this part now. We'll pro like, I'm thinking this will probably be the last. <gasps> Sturgeon! Sturgeon! Look at that. We got Sturgeon. Can I kill one? I feel really bad doing this, but you know what? We're going to try. <gasps> I can. Can I pick him up? Because you used to be able to pick up. We're saving animals by putting them out of the water and into my inventory. I don't know why I'm singing. Very badly. <laughs> um, and sturgeons and stuff. Well, let's see. We have three sturgeons. I guess technically they're our first three creatures we can put in our park. Oh, you know, we should make like a little sturgeon pond. I don't know why I want to do that, but I do. Because you know what, guys? It would be cool. You know what I'm actually... Another thing I'm looking forward to with uh, when we go 1.10. The offhand slot. Because that offhand slot is so helpful for mining. So very, very helpful for mining. Because you can put your torches in one hand and your pickaxe in the other. Oh, gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot we can still spam our sword because it's not 1.10 yet. Um, let me just quickly throw my sword there. Oh, Zambles. Iron, 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 iron hide. That's a transformer, isn't it? Imagine if there were like a zombie spawner over here. I always say that and there never is a zombie spawner because, well, oh gosh, that was a Pretty bad move there, Caden. Pretty bad move. Let's just beat the Zambles. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh boy, this is not good. It's poison. Oh. oh. This is, this is ridiculous. I hate witches. They are the, like the, one of the most annoying mobs in Minecraft just cause, yeah, poison for that long. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely stinking ridiculous. <sighs> They're so much easier to fight later when you get swords that can like one hit them. Oh, there's iron like right there. You know what? We'll go for it. We just need three. And that was only two. <sighs> lovely. Absolutely stinking lovely. Oh, I was, I was gonna mine. Oh yeah, that's why I went to go get a new pickaxe. I forgot about that. I'm very absent-minded. Of course though, if you guys have been here for a while with my channel, you already know that. You know, I easily am distracted <laughs> from what I'm doing and what I'm talking about. It's caused me to miss out on many a great story because I uh, mean to say something and then I don't say it because, well, I got distracted. Had a good old Captain Distracto deceive us and keep us from, you know, telling the good stories. Ca telling the good stories because obviously it's a witch with speed. And now it's not a witch with speed. It's actually a dead witch, which is probably the best witch in this game. I mean, unless you have, what is it? Is that the blood, is it the witchery mod? The blood magic mod? I don't remember, there's so many of those mods. I never got into the whole magic mod th uh, scene, which I always find really funny because like IRL, I'm a huge fantasy nerd. I love that whole like genre and you know, books and games and movies and stuff like that. Yet I never, <laughs> Yet when it comes to Minecraft, I never do any of that kind of stuff. All I do is stick to my science -y mods. And even then, I'm pretty 
limited in what mods I'll play because when I say sciency, I mean revival. <laughs> that that's basically it. Everything else I own mod wise is aesthetic because if I'm not doing dinosaur related stuff, I'm building something pretty. Which you know what I think has been a pretty good foundation for this channel so far. I think. It's definitely helped me along, being able to build well. Well, not if... actually... oh gosh. Like, what is it? So, we all know, if you make YouTube videos, you have old videos. Because everyone starts out with old videos. Or, they're old now. And, we all know, your original videos are terrible. Because, why wouldn't they be? You don't know what you're doing, you're just messing around. I'm cracking my knuckles, because I don't know. Uh... But yeah, your original videos are just terrible quality, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're saying, and you're just like, bleh. Well, you try and do something vaguely entertaining that you've seen other people do ten times better. But, uh, yeah, in my case, not only was I just, like, a bad YouTuber, I guess you could say, because, you know, I didn't know what the heck I was doing, um, but also, I couldn't build for the life of me. What was it? I started this channel out on Pixelmon and Hunger Games. I was basically, I don't know what, I, what was it? My, um, so I started my uh, channel with someone else, and I think he watched a lot of the Beijing Canadians, so we kind of just based my channel on doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you ever see any of my old videos and wonder, well, like, hey, just kind of trying to copy the Beijing Canadian or something, that's probably true. That's probably true. Because, I don't know. I was just, I mean, I wouldn't have done it consciously at that point, I don't think. I mean, that's kind of why I try and avoid watching a lot of people nowadays. Because I'm like, well, if I watch too many YouTube videos, I'm going to start copying them. And phew, that'd be pretty bad. Because I, I want to I keep my content as original as I can keep it without, you know, obviously driving people away because my content is too weird. Man, YouTube's weird. I was talking to someone about that. It's like... With YouTube content, especially gaming content, you have, like, this very, very narrow little area you can stay in to do content. It's just, like, this teeny tiny little area of being original and, you know, making unique... Uh, being original and unique and doing something similar enough to everyone else. Because if it's too... So that way people will actually come and watch your content. If it's too original and out there... A lot of people probably aren't going to watch it, but if it's too, you know, copycat-like, I guess, then no one's going to watch it because they've seen a lot of other people do it and do it better. So, yeah, YouTube's we YouTube is just difficult market-wise because you got to figure out what you're doing, where you are, and how you move up, on and up, which is uh, quite difficult in some uh, situations. Where did I leave my mind? There it is. It's by the cows because the cows were looking down at me. They're like, ha, 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 you're stuck in a hole. And I'm like, ha, 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 I'm going to make a T-Rex that will eat you. Well, not you, probably. That will eat your, uh, child, child's, 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 child, child? I don't know. Many generations of cows from now. Yes! 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 We've got dinosaurs now. Well, we don't. We, we're getting, we're on the path to dinosaurs. We got dem bones, dem bones, dem dino bones. I don't know. That sounds like a song that I've heard <laughs> probably once or twice. Oh, do I? Wait, let me check my resource packs. Why do I only have one pack on? <gasps> oh, because I don't have them installed anymore. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I know I have uh, textures for these blocks. I don't because I took all my resource packs out when I was getting the world download ready last time. So, yeah. <laughs> Still haven't installed them. Wow, that that's that's crazy. That well, that shows you guys what I've been up to. <laughs> Found this world. Decided to wait to record. Recorded. Oh gosh, people are opening doors now. God forbid they open doors. What are we doing now? Oh, I I forgot. I forgot about that. Frozen meat has seven attack damage. It's a one hit and then it breaks. And how? I always wondered, was there actually someone who was like, have, have there actually been players who were like, you know what's the best use for this? I'm going to hit someone with it. And then they realized it only does one hit. And then they were like, oh, well, going to go find another one to hit someone else with. Because if that, there's actually been a person who has done that, I pity them. 
because in all reality, they should be saving that stuff because you know what? Oh wait, it isn't the only way to get Ice Age creatures anymore. Shows how old-fashioned I am. Uh, I forgot, they added the tar fossils in not long ago. Yeah, well, okay, I say not long ago. It's been over a year now, but shush. Yeah, so that's been added in. Now we can get fossils from that, and that's actually... I mean, I think now you can get uh, Ice Age fossils way easier than you can get... Ooh, ooh, we got a foot, and a rib, Sarcosuchus rib cage, and a Gallimimus foot. Sweet. I don't think you can analyze those for DNA. Something tells me you can't. I don't know, though. Oh, yeah, I have inventory uh, tweaks on. I, I don't know if that's 1.10, so... I'm not sure if I can keep that when uh, I finish updating to 1.10, but yeah, whatever. I mean, it's not a very vital mod. It's just kind of something I play around with. I mean, I'm pretty sure this video has now been going on at least half an hour, so I think I'll need to think, start wrapping it up. Let's just get these last bit of fossil and frozen meat, and then we will head back up to the surface, and yeah. I guess next episode we can build an analyzer to... Uh, get our fancy, fancy fossil loot going. And, ooh, there's a lot of frozen meat in here. That is always good. Oh, so I don't know how many of you guys will remember this, because this is quite an old feature um, in the mod. <gasps> Volcanic rock! I forgot about those. It's been so long since I've honestly been mining for these kind of resources. Because in the last park, we eventually just got so much stuff I didn't need to mine. So it's kind of fun. It's fun going back to the basics. Because I've missed that. I've missed that for sure. Um, what was it saying? And this is a good example of... I am very quick to forget, because I now have no idea what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Uh, before I got onto dinos. Oh, stuff you don't want, you probably, I don't know if you guys would remember. Back in the olden 1.5 in days of the mod, which were, and heck, even before that, I think this was probably something that's been in since like the, when did the mod get made? It was in 1.2, Minecraft 1.2, and then it was, well, yeah, it's been since 1.2. I remember it being there in 1.4, because I remember playing that with that myself, but, uh, it's probably been in since like 1.3 or 4, whenever, you know, whenever they started adding the Ice Siege creatures in, and not the Revival team, the uh, original modder. Um, anyway, there was Permafrost, which actually, if we hit that real quick, uh, there's only that Permafrost now, or let's see, Fro... Yeah, there's, there is no more of that. So, okay, there used to be this old block. I thought it was called permafrost or uh, frozen cobblestone or something. Anyway, whenever there was permafrost near to a block, there would be these icy looking cobblestone blocks all around it. And there would be obviously the, and if there was water nearby, um, the water would be frozen and there'd be tons of ice. So there was, a bit, there was always a big visual cue when you're near it. And I always loved that, because I was like, you know what? It may not be, you know, the most practical thing, but it was always just so gosh darn cool, you know, to go and see that these, you know, it actually looks like a huge amount of something from the Ice Age was frozen down there. And there we go. First analyzer of the game. I would make another, but yeah, they're, they're kind of expensive, so... Ooh, I'm actually gonna go bone meal my wheat while we wait for that stuff to analyze. So yeah, this episode's gone on for quite a while. So yeah, um, just a quick reminder, there will be an episode up every day this week, just, you know, to celebrate, to celebrate the, re the birth of the new world. And yeah, see where we go. We will see where we go from here. We have iron now, we can get a bucket. You know what, I think this island here. This is going to be named. This is going to be like the what, what would I call it? The found, Founders Island or something akin to that because, I don't know, I think that sounds pretty cool. Founders Island where we built our first little shack where we got our first analyzer 
and our first bits of DNA. Hopefully. Please, please give me a dinosaur DNA. Nope. Barmiel, come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. <gasps> please? 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 Nope. Please, 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 please give me stuff. <gasps> Honestly, I shouldn't be complaining though, because I don't know if you, again, another thing from the heyday of the mod, which for me was back in 1.5, because um, I, I didn't actually own Minecraft back when the uh, 1.4 and below versions were out. I uh, only started playing Minecraft and there was the 1.5 version, and well, I guess actual 1.5 Minecraft. But yeah, that was that was that was the day. That, those were the days to me. Those were the days. I remember playing with that a lot. Man, I love Revival. Probably my favorite mod of all time. And it's clocked up. Vicinium seeds, Saracenia, cactus green sand. <gasps> we can make a culture vat. <coughs> <clears throat> oh gosh, my voice. You know what, actually, I want to hit achievements and fossils and archaeology. I think I'm going to make it a goal this season that we will have to get one of, not one of, we need to get every single achievement on this list, and that includes the Anu stuff. So, we need to find the mysterious idol, we need to get a scarab gem, a blue scarab gem, dino DNA, all the dinosaurs, what's this one? Cult classic. Okay, I'm. I know a lot of these are like uh, pop culture references, like uh, stuff. But I, I, I don't know half of them, and I'm really sad that I don't. Anyway, yeah, we got two dinosaur fossils, which is pretty cool. We'll make a little ar not archaeology. I can't believe I said that because I always hate it when people call paleontology archaeology because they're different things. They're very different things. One deals with basically uh, ancient human civilization, the other, or not ancient, I mean, they do stuff with like medieval things and renaissance. One studies human, the human past, the other studies the natural past, specifically biological organisms. So plants and dinosaurs and mammoths and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. I think everyone just knows the word archeologist better because it's associated with Indiana Jones associated what did i say associated i don't know why i'm suddenly struggling to say <gasps> tar fossil wait do these only give you tar fossils now and then you have to analyze the tar fossils that must be how it is now oh they changed it up they changed it oh and i forgot with tar now you get the tar droplets from the tar things, the tar slimes, and then you can use the tar slime to, uh, what do you call it? Tar slimes can be used to, yeah, you kill them for the tar droplets, which can give you the fossils or something. I don't know. It's been a very long time since, I'm really depressed now. We didn't get any DNA, aw. Well, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed episode one, and I hope you're looking forward to the episodes to come. I mean, I'm shooting for 300 episodes, let's say. I mean, we'll probably reach that pretty quickly. I mean, I'm planning on doing this for several years, so 300 is probably a pretty easy goal. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you're looking forward to tomorrow with the next episode and the continuation of our adventure. So until then, guys, see ya.